Living in Gary, Indiana, it wasn't much hope. It wasn't much to see. It wasn't much to be a part of. The hope in Gary was, it was what you saw and it wasn't much there. I used to stand on the shore in Gary, Indiana, on the beach in Lake Michigan, and I could look across the beach and see Chicago, Illinois, and see the skyline. That was just amazing for me as a kid, just to walk and dream along the beach and say, man, I, one day maybe. It was just something that seemed sometimes out of reach. About the age of 12 or 13, my mother moved back to Indianapolis where she was from. So I clung to sports, I clung to things that I, I thought that I could make it big doing. Because of that, I was able to go to college. Started going to a campus ministry there where out of 500 people, I was the only black guy in the room. It made me burden for the campus and burden for um, folks that look like me, that look different than uh, the folks that were in that room at that time. It was always something we threw around, like, what if we could do something in Chicago? What if we could go back home and uh, see the landscape change there? And the uh, first thing we did when we got to the city is we just rolled through the neighborhoods. Looking from the outside in, you think of this city as a melting pot, but once you get into the city, you see that it's divided. As you ride through the streets, you see a different type of Chicago coming from downtown with the high-rise buildings and the different type of living. So once you cross over to the neighborhood systems, you see the division, you see the, the real Chicago, you see the people who, who don't dwell in downtown Chicago, who don't want to come down here only to come down here just to work, and then they go back home. And as we rolled through this neighborhood, we started just, it's like my heart was about to leap out of my chest because people come around the United Center and they come to the United Center from all over the state to see the Bulls play or to see the Blackhawks play. They come to see a concert and they high five the person next to them. They give hugs to the person in front of them. And they don't care about what they look like. They don't care about their socioeconomic status. And if the United Center can bring people together and they've been doing it for 20 something years, then why can't the church? So for me, it's just a, a dream come true to actually be in the city and to have that hope of something bigger than what I was seeing in Gary come true. It's not better systems, it's not better you, it's not better me, it's not better schools, it's not better governments, it's not any of that. It's only Jesus Christ that can renew this city and can renew a broken people back to himself. When I walk the streets now, I not only see the, the dream of Chicago, the reality of Chicago is real to me. It's blatantly clear that people are here in search of something more. It's amazing to see what God is doing and how he's brought the nations to this city. But I would love to see the nations come to the church. If we're a neighborhood city and we're living inside those neighborhoods, then we need to invite our neighbors in our houses. When we get to heaven, we're not gonna see uh, white and black over here and Hispanic over here and Chinese over here, but we're all gonna be together worshiping Jesus Christ. And if the church has this message of Jesus Christ, that this is what his word says, that bringing multiple different people from different backgrounds together under his banner of Jesus Christ who reconciles us to him, then I believe that we can have that on earth too.